Alright, so this is a quick tutorial on how to use Daisy Texture Animator. So let's say you've already got your skin in the gun, on the gun or your objects or anything like this. Let's, let's start by animating it. We're going to do 10 frames just for the sake of time con time consumption. So once you've got your... um, Let me hide this panel a minute because you, you probably won't have this one. So I'm going to close the area. You'll probably have something like this. With your other, you might have something on the other side here like your... Um, like your image view or something like that. I just didn't mean to close, bring that one open, but close this. Uh, I've made a mess of this video already, haven't I? I can't even close it now. Do I have to click it? Yeah, close area. There we go. All right, so say if you have something like this, you want to right-click the line here and do a horizontal split like this, and then you bring it up. So then you've got two of the same window. You click on this icon here, change this to timeline, and then we have this timeline here. Like, like I said, we're working with 10 frames, so you set the end frame to 10, or you can set it to 5, you can set it to 30, you can set it to 1,000 if you really want to 1,000 images, but let's just do 10. So, as you can see, we're scrolling through the timeline, nothing happens. You can also press space, and it'll, it'll loop the timeline. So the first bit, let's just do the, um, what should we, what should we change on this? So should we change the color on this one? So, we're going to change the color of the glow. So you right click it, and you click insert keyframe. It'll insert a keyframe, whatever frame you're on. As you can see, it's got like a little box around it. When the box goes yellow, let me zoom in. See this little box around the color? That means there's a keyframe on that frame. So there's a keyframe here. I'm going to go to the end and add another keyframe. Because how the animation works is it'll go through all the frames and get to the end one. It'll instantly jump back to the first frame. So you want to kind of have the first and last frame the same. And then something in the middle like this. I'm going to change this one to pink like this. And then right click, insert keyframe. So now we press space. You see it changes colour like that, so. So there's that. Um, I'm going to do a scale one as well, just so it adds like a bit of movement to the image, to the texture. I'm going to do the same again. Go into the middle, make a little tiny change. And then insert keyframe. So now it does this. Sorry if you're epileptic. That might have caused issues for you. So we've got that set up. The animation's set. So I'm going to look at the panel now on this side. So... This is the animator panel. The first thing we're going to need to do is set the mod folder name. So this is, when you go to your P drive, do you know how you have your folders for each mod? This will be that name of that folder. So this one I'm going to be calling this YouTube Tutorial. My name, this is what your name will be in the in the actual main config. So like draw the, where the credits and creator and stuff like that goes. So obviously I'm going to put a flanker there. So what do I want to call this one? I'm going to call this um, Flash, just because it flashes like crazy. Uh, flash underscore ACR. You've got to make this unique as well, so the game doesn't reference it as like, oh, there's already a model with that class name. And the original class name, I know this one's the Rev ACR, but I'll show you how to get that. So if you're on your desk, well, wherever you got your mod from, you need to go into their config. So mine's this ACR, so I'll go into the config, and as you can see, um, it's Rev ACR base. This is it. But it might not always be this one. If, if you've put this in your game and your gun's like frozen in midair and it's not in the right place, just um, in my text editor, I can just minimize it. But Joe, when it's got um, another class that references this main class, you want this class name instead. So I'm just going to use this one anyway. So the Rev ACR black, I'll copy this and paste it there. And the item name. This is item display name, so how it will look in the game. So I want to call this one a flashing ACR. What type is it? This is a config weapons. This is for, if I hover over it, it'll tell you, look. So weapons is anything related to weapons, like the weapons, the attachments. And if it's magazines, use the config magazines. So this one here. And vehicles is pretty much everything else, like the clothing, the boxes, the the stuff that you put around your base. Just anything that you can pick up, really. So the item description. Subscribe to Flanker. I can't even spell my own name. On YouTube. You can put whatever the hell you want. This is like, when you inspect your weapon in the game and it's got the product des what, product description? No, not, not the product description. The actual description of the model. Then the required add-ons. This is important. You need this one in here. So... Again, go into the config, and you simply just copy these required add-ons here inside of the bracket. Don't um, don't take these brackets because just inside the quotes, like so. And then you paste that in there. 
and then hidden selections we add so this gun here let me just double check for you uh, let me open it back up so hidden selections there's one hidden selection so it's called color which is obviously the main gun part so you add a hidden selection you put the name of the hidden selection here and select that hidden selection part you might have color one color two different parts you just got to try and understand which one's which and get these correct and that's for frames so I'm going to do 10 frames, right? So we're going to do 10 frames at 5 FPS. So it's going to be a bit janky. In fact, no, wait. Yeah, it's going to be a bit slow. And I'll put it at 10, actually. So the whole animation takes a second to complete. And obviously, which um, outputs you want. So we've got the color output, the normal maps, the reflections, and the glow. So this gun here, it glows. As you can see, if you turn the strength down, you see these little orange bits? These are what glow and if I go to there it'll change to pink so this is the glow and on this one I can actually set the emission strength so how how bad I want it to glow and stuff you can do that in here so this texture this um option will be in the next update for the texture pack by the way but these things haven't been added yet the diffuse and ambience so let's go back to um where was we I've, how do I get this so I can see the gun again there you go so it's like that so yeah, we're up here that, so let's go back to this. I'm ready to do all that stuff, so I click on the model that you want to bake. And then click Generate Mod. Now this will take a little while, depending on how many frames you're doing. I'm doing 10 frames. I'll show you the current process of what's happening right now. So if I go to P Drive, what did I call this one? YouTube Tutorial. As you can see, it's created the folder for you. It's created your config with the required add-ons and stuff. This one's already in the default scripts, you don't have to worry about that one, but it's the one in the config here. So if we go to flash ACR and look at this config, you can see it puts the required add-ons that you need in there. It gets the original gun and the name of your class, the description and all this stuff. It selects the hidden selections and it, it ties the texture to it. And then it also, in the scripts, it creates the animation script for you. It's already ready to go. So. Um, when this button's not blue anymore, that means it's ready. Let's see what frame we're on right now. We are on frame 5 at the minute, so frame 6. So, we'll let this continue. Also, like this video on YouTube, by the way, if you're watching it on YouTube. If not, not, click on the link in the very top of the video, whatever your site you're watching it on. Click on the YouTube video and it'll let you take it to YouTube to hit that like button. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good at these... Um, it's quiet moment, so we're on image 9, it's almost finished. As you can see, it creates uh, the RV map for each one as well, look. With the values that you had set in the actual, um, on the specular slider as well, and the diffuse slider. So that's finished. So now, simply, this whole folder is ready to pack. So let's go to PBO project, and select that folder. It was YouTube tutorial, right? YouTube tutorial select and then crunch. Let's give that just a moment to convert all the PNGs to PAAs. If yours doesn't do that, by the way, you can do it through setup here and uncheck this box here. Do not convert PNG to PAA. That'll be checked by default. If you uncheck that, you won't have to use image to PAA to convert your images. But obviously it saves space as well. After it's converted to PAAs, you can get rid of the PNGs because you don't really need them, but I'm going to leave them anyway in case I made a mistake somewhere. So now, it will give you the... Let me show you. I've got my output to here. So, YouTube animation, YouTube tutorial, there we go, look. So, that one there is it's an entirely of 81 megabytes, but that's because the normal map was quite detailed. If you don't want a huge file, just don't export the normal maps, and it should be absolutely fine. So, let's um, launch my test server. Also, if you're struggling with anything, join the Discord because um, I've got support tickets if you need help with the support. I've got a community in there that will help you with little things. And I'm on most of the time anyway because I'm a, I'm a no-life, so you'll always have someone to answer your questions pretty quickly. But if I'm asleep, that's the only time I don't really answer questions. Even though I'm like walking down the street and my phone pings, I pull it out just to answer and reply as fast as I possibly can. So we're almost loaded in. Uh, what did I actually call the model now as well? I actually forgot what I named the class. So, Flash ACR. So, 
when we get in, you press Y if you're in offline mode. Oh. Y objects flash. As you can see, it's flashing right now. This is what happens with animated textures. It just it buffers it in the game while it loads. So there you go, guys. That's how you do the animated textures. It looks pretty good, actually. Let me show you the um, the glow as well at night time. So at night time, can you see it's got the um, the emissions to it? So there you go, guys. That's how easy it is to use this tool now. No more writing configs. It's a very, very simple tool. So thank you very much also if you're using this tool. I appreciate your custom. And let's make Daisy a better place.